I'll already make his bacon and kale. Sorry, I will drag your little ass to the ground. The fart is trying to come out. He says you're in Baltimore. Yeah, Jordan, are you here? Let me stop smiling. Jordan, get the hell out of here. Jordan, let me tell you something. Jordan, Jordan Bryant. Let me tell you something. You had your opportunity and you fucking blew it like a goddamn fucking drunk hoe at a goddamn fucking breathalyzer test. You blew it. Honestly, you turned out to be the best thing I ever. You turned out to be the. Like, I don't have fucking time. I don't have time for you, Jordan. So you just sit there and think about that. <laughs> no, I'm not wilding. You're wilding because I was a queen years ago. I was a goddamn fucking queen years ago, too. And you said, Oh, a black queen. I'm scared. He didn't literally say that, y'all, but I know you know what I mean when you feel it. And you, you know what? I've been drinking too much. Trent, I, I do love you. I do love you, but hey, should have uh, shouldn't have came on here talking his shit. I just want you guys to know that I'm in love with Baltimore and. If I don't get my house, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just stay wherever this apartment is. I'm just going to stay here. The studio, this beautiful studio apartment is only $1,200. It's only $1,200 a month. So I'm just like, yo, I'm going to just... Like, how nice would it be to, to not spend $3,000 a month on fucking rent so i'm the more and more i'm here the more and more i'm like this is such a cute place i can just get a tv lala i love you okay i love you so much you're so funny and beautiful i love you oh that was cool hey girl Yeah, even though, you know, Baltimore is out the way regarding D.C., but it's exciting being in Baltimore and falling in love with Baltimore. Like, this beautiful man in my life, he took me to um, Felt's Point, and I, I thought that was dope. Fells Point, and I've never been there before. So I've really, I've been falling in love with Baltimore, and then we went to sangria this dope um this dope club the only club that's open in baltimore and it was just really amazing i've just been having a good black ass time here except you guys let me tell you a little fuck ass or something koya you're here yes i've been falling the fuck in love with baltimore like i love that i'm here <laughs> i um where was I? Y'all, I was trying to get some fucking wine. I was, so there's this place called Loyal Companion. It's a dog place. So I was getting my friend a gift, a dog gift, a gift for his dog. Whatever. I was getting a But anyway, so went to Loyal Companion. Went to Carvel for a milkshake. Or what did he say? Anyway, so I went there and I parked, I parked, I parked. I go to Loyal Companion, I get the dog some nice toys. 
I go back to my car, get in the car, I'm driving, I'm driving with my friend. Oh, we also get some wine before we leave the area. We get some wine. Get in the car. My friend's like, what's that on your windshield? I was like, oh, no, what is this? And then I look, I was like, oh, somebody left their number. Somebody must have saw me get out of my car. They left their fucking number. So I pull over. I look at the note. It says, learn to park. I said, bitch, why are you so fucking loud? I could have sworn in that moment that I parked with all my might correctly. That hurt me so much. Learn to park. Like, I'm just chill. Like, bruh, like, learn to find another space. You fucking bitch. Learn to... You know it was a fucking Karen. Aziza knows. Aziza was with me. I was hurt for hours because I was like, who did it? Who did it? Show your face. Who did it, bruh? Who did it? Why the fuck? Bruh, in all caps, learn to park. And then immediately I was like, holy shit, COVID. Like, because I grabbed the paper. I was like, this feels, I was scared. I was alarmed. I felt attacked. I was thinking of the pandemic as well. It was just like, this, this could be contaminated. And I crumbled it up, threw it out the window, hand sanitized. I was just like, what in the name of, of hate crime is this? Like, show me your fucking face, bitch. Show me, like, learn some fucking manners. But then my friend helped me realize, like, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. She could have said some way wilder things. But it's just like... You little piece of shit, self. And you little fucking entitled little bitch fuck. You touched my car. You touched my. You touched my car to try to teach me a fucking lesson. It hurt me. have called you a not Aziza <laughs> that is not funny we are not condoning this for all the non-blacks understand I am not laughing in happiness I am laughing I because I love my sister you understand the fucking difference but yeah, it, it could have been worse. They could have said, learn to park. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it could have been worse. Learn to park, black. Like, it could have been way worse. So, like, you know, I'm, I'm taking notes from, like, Beyonce when she says, you know, don't be entitled. I also translate that to just don't be mad. Or no, be mad if you want to, but... Don't just, just relax. Just fucking relax, bitch. Be mad, but also relax. You know? Relax. Relax. Is it just me, you guys? But it's, it's really hard for me, the idea of saying the N-word around people. Like, I don't know. I don't know who's watching. So it's like, it's been scaring me to, in real life, my friends who say it around non-black people, I'm just like, I'm starting to get more paranoid, more and more paranoid about it. I'm starting to like, Fuck with me a little bit. Hey, BB, I love you. I moved to the DMV. Come, come. Baby girl, ain't you from the DMV? Silver Spring. Baby girl, move back. Hang out with me and Aziza. Girl, you would get your life. You be having 